So not long ago, I posed the question to all of you, should Texas fans be worried about where they currently sat in recruiting? And in fairness, it didn't take me long to rip the Band-Aid off and give my take, which was absolutely not. No team out there needed to be concerned about where they sat in recruiting because there was so much time and opportunity in front of them, and especially Texas, who was building solid foundations with some of the nation's top prospects. Fast forward to today... And not only do we need to talk about the Longhorns' newest member of the 24 recruiting class, Aaron Hampton, we need to look at how they've surged up the boards and break it all down. But before we can, as always, y'all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Why for yes and for no. Are you excited that Aaron Hampton commits to Texas? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And we are right around the corner from our 20,000 subscriber goal. I'd love to have you a part of this unbelievable community. But having said all that, Let's jump right into this. And first off, who is Aaron Hampton? A question I'm sure all Texas fans already know the answer to, but that's how we always start this off. And Aaron Hampton is a phenomenally gifted prospect. For a long time, he was being recruited by several teams as a wide receiver, but as time has gone on, Texas really started to recruit him as both a wide receiver and a defensive back, and it's very easy to understand why. When you turn on the tape, he excels at both. Let's start with a wide receiver because he is a very gifted offensive playmaker. Whenever you watch him at wide receiver, he's one of those guys that can take a drag route all the way, even if it's a 95 yarder, because he has got impressive run after catch ability. He's got the ability to downshift and get from first gear to sixth gear way quicker than anybody else on the football field. And if he has to go from sixth to third, once again, he's getting back up to sixth way quicker than anybody else, which allows him to break away from defenders. And on top of that, he's got legitimate long speed. So he is an exciting playmaker on the offensive side of the ball. But defensively, he excels as well, having gotten multiple interceptions and converted them into touchdowns for his defense. This is the definition of a dynamic football player, a football player through and through, something you love to see. And Texas loves that they get to keep him home and get him in a situation where maybe he'll play offense, maybe he'll play defense. He gets to choose, but Texas feels content either way, because offensively, I'm not ever confused as to why an offensive prospect would want to commit to Texas. Steve Sarkeesian's offense has put up big numbers. Whether we're talking about the quarterback position, whether we're talking about the wide receiver position, whether we're talking about tight end, which we saw Jatavian Sanders do last year, and certainly running back, those guys get the ball and they excel. So I'm not surprised to see a wide receiver or an athlete like Aaron Hampton go to Texas. He ranks as the number 154 player in the nation, the number 11 athlete and the number 28 player in the state of Texas, which is just absolutely insane and part of the reason why Texas fans have to love keeping him home. Because the state is so loaded with talent and you need to win the battles you can't afford to lose and you are going up against the Alabama Crimson Tide for this guy. And I don't need to go into a whole soliloquy about what it means whenever you're recruiting against Alabama or the level at which Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide consistently recruit at. You're all well familiar with all of those things. So it's always impressive when you can go ahead head-to-head -head with the Crimson Tide and come out on top. It certainly helps when that prospect is in your state and always dreamed of playing for the Longhorns. So I think this is a fantastic win. You can get a guy that you feel comfortable playing defense or offense, and there are only so many guys every single year that can do that. Aaron Hampton is absolutely one of them. And so what does this mean for the Longhorns recruiting class? Well, not long ago, Texas was really on the outside looking in, and that's when we had that conversation of should Texas fans be concerned? My answer was absolutely not. But with this commitment, Texas now finds themselves in the top 20 recruiting classes in the nation with 13 prospects. Plenty of time and opportunity in front of them and in striking distance exactly where you want to be if you're Steve Sarkeesian and the Longhorns and several big battles up in front of you. This is a great win. This is a phenomenally gifted prospect, and I can't wait to hear from all of you. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See ya.